what's going on guys today I'm going to be talking to you guys about some things that have happened to me recently when it comes to my PC that you can see behind me as you guys so what's going on guys today we're actually going to be building out my brand new PC or pets of the brand new PC because as you guys can see I've got some new pets here we've got some existing pets that were in the old computer that obviously died and I couldn't get it to work and stuff like that there was a lot of issues with it so what we have is my GeForce GTX 1070 that's coming over we have a 256 gig Samsung SSD which I bought from Scan and then we also have my HD60 Pro now this thing is obviously what I record on my gameplay on and stuff like that it needs a bit of a clean but honestly this thing is amazing and I intend to keep using it but for new parts we've got some Ryzen compatible DDR4 32, no, 16 gigabytes, 2 dims running at 3200 speed I'm going to be upgrading that to 32 gigs in the near future probably next month or so just to see what kind of performance I can get and obviously to make that work even cleaner by having all four dim slots uh, full because I like the way that looks We've also got this Corsair MP600 Gen 4 NVMe SSD. I was going to get a 1TB one, but I decided not to and decided to opt for the 500 gig. as what I intend to do is install this as my Windows drive and this for Premiere Pro and everything else. Just so that I can obviously have a scratch disk and have something really, really fast for working on files and stuff like that. We've got an X570 Aorus Elite motherboard. This, by far, at the sub £200 or £250, depending where you buy it from, motherboards is one of the best rated motherboards when it comes to VRM cooling and different things like that as well. So it's going to be great for overclocking, which is something that I really want to do with Ryzen because I want to overclock the RAM and get it up to 3200 or even higher. I want to try and hit the best specs and stuff like that that I can and here we have a Ryzen 3700X now this is going to be obviously the brain of the computer I obviously I'm excited to get this started so let's build without further ado
you guys have stuck along for the video this long, thank you guys for sticking around. As you can see, my computer's now built. I've got my little ring light here on the chair and everything. I'm going to do a proper full setup video at some point in the near future. But what I want to say is we finally got the PC up and running. It takes about 10 seconds to boot. And that's because of the NVMe storage and stuff that I put in this thing. It is rapidly quick. I've had a couple of videos on it so far, but I want to do but I want to do a proper setup and review of the performance of the PC so far. I haven't really overclocked it or anything like that. Just run it at stock and it seems fantastic for now. It seems to basically take the videos that I would have rendered in like 20 minutes and render them in like eight to nine minutes, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, honestly, the G-Skill RAM was a good choice. It looks amazing and the motherboard and everything really seems to suit the computer and the style I went for and everything like that. I'm really happy with that. But let's do some B-roll and let you guys enjoy some shots of my new um, sort of refurbished PC because it was an old PC. I've had to take the motherboard out and upgrade it and stuff like that. So my upgraded PC. Let's take some B-roll shots of it and let you guys enjoy. <laughs> 